lease in this area is actually cheaper to do gas, even though a lot of people are switching over to electric vehicles. I hate to say it, but the but but the, those charging stations. Um, they're not that cheap. Uh, I know Uber does uh, partner with a, one of them in particular, but unfortunately, uh, I, when I looked into it, and it's and and this is uh, only about six months ago, I couldn't believe it. The, the 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 place that they partner with, they have one charging station way up on the northern end of the valley. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to run all the way up there, and unfortunately, it could take an, uh, up to an hour to charge the vehicle at that charging station. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But if I go to one of the other ones that are the more faster powered ones uh, that only takes about 15, 20 minutes or whatever. I hate to say it, but I'm actually saving money on on, on purchasing gas. <laughs> Because they were like twenty five dollars for a charge, <laughs> and, um, and then on top of it, um, um, the maximum amount of miles that you get out of them without using uh, any uh, electrical devices within the vehicle is two hundred miles. I'm like, oh shoot, I can put that that amount uh, on my car in one night. I don't want to be having to be cutting out in the middle of driving in a shift to go and charge up my vehicle it, it, it just excuse me to me in the long run it just wasn't worth it you know i mean if you're in a uh, in a situation where if you're in an apartment complex or you have a house and you're able to charge up a vehicle great you know go for it but unfortunately if you're uh, someone like me who's not in that sort of a situation yeah it, it's just to me it's an, it's 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 not worth it so, and especially since, I mean, I, I, I'll admit that with my new car, it's a little bit of a gas guzzler, uh, especially when, when I have that turbo kicking. <laughs> and she may be a manual transmission, but uh, she, she is a six speed and that six speed is the turbo. And when, and man, I got to tell you, she does fly and she can have a tendency to eat the gas a little bit, but still, yeah, even with that, uh, uh, half a tank of gas, even with the high gas, or I should say higher gas prices here, we're not as bad as California, say for instance, but we're, we, um, uh, fortunately I live close to a gas station that's, um, uh, I'm not paying as bad as, as what it is around the rest of the Valley. And it only with half, ta- half a tank is only about 20 bucks. So that's not too bad. Yeah. But uh, especially, Especially, you know, $20 compared to $25. I don't think so. No, no, I don't think. Yeah. To me, it's just not worth it. But do your comparisons. You know, if it, if the if the EV winds up for it being better for you, great. Okay. But the nice thing about it is you won't have to worry about that safety inspection. Um, and that's the thing with the safety inspection. That is something else that has to be renewed every single year. Yeah, your business licenses, you can take care of those, um, you know, like uh, up to a month in advance or what have you. But the safety inspection, don't do it until the day that it's due because they're going to go off of the date uh, that is on the form, not the date that it's due. Okay. So if you get it done, ahead of time, say, you know, a couple of days before it's due or whatever, say you're, you're, it's due on the 30th and you get it done on the 28th. Well, the next year it's going to be due on the 28th. Okay. So keep that in mind. All right. I know it's a lot. <laughs> it's not really not that bad. And like I said, it, especially if you live in an area where there's, um, you know, that, that it's a large area and you have a, like a headquarters or whatever, you at least you'll ha- have somebody there who can help you with the process, you know, and, and they can teach you some things and so forth, or they can help you or what have you. Um, unfortunately, if you're in a smaller area that doesn't have, you know, like a, uh, a green light hub or, 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 or a lift he- headquarters or what have you, yeah, um, you're, you're going to have to try and rely on the uh, customer service within the app, um, which may or may not be a good situation. Just kind of depends on who you get, <laughs> unfortunately. So that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to do this video. So in that way you can um, ha- um, know what it is that you're getting yourself uh, into. Hopefully it can help you, not so much what you're getting yourself into, but uh, how it can help you 
with uh, the process and so forth. So you you know what, what to expect. Because um, if you've never been through something like that before with the background checks and so forth, it may be a little daunting. Oh, that was the other thing with the background check. I was going to make sure that I um, tell you all uh, about when you um, get, um, agree to have the background check done, there should be a little checkbox saying whether you want a, um, that report or not check that box saying that you want the report. The reason why, even though you know that you have a clean background, get it anyway, just in case something pops up. You know how it is where, you know, with identity theft or, they, you know, somebody puts in the wrong uh, number and it winds up being your social security number and the next thing you know it, you're a convicted felon. Hello? When did this happen? <laughs> yeah. Check that box just in case so you can get a copy of that report. It'll be emailed to you, okay? Um, yeah, that's very, very important. Make sure that you get that. You never know. Mm-hmm. All right. I think I got everything. I, you know, I know it's been a while since I've done it, and, of course, I just went through a lot of my renewals and so forth, so uh, I'm going off of a, a lot of that information and, and, and everything. So, yeah, hopefully I've gotten <laughs> everything. Oh, um, the background checks, um, those will be uh, conducted every single year as well. Uh, but uh, and you you don't, don't have to worry about doing anything. That's just something that they will do. And you'll be notified that when it happens, and you'll again, have that opportunity to be able to check that box to, um, uh, to, um, to get receive a copy, just in case. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's a good idea. Never know. Um, so yeah, I, I think I got everything. <laughs> I know it's a lot to try and rock the brain uh, around and so forth. So I hope this helps you guys. I, I really do hope that all of these videos are helping you guys and everything. So anyway, um, if I d don't do a vi video this weekend, I hope you have a good weekend. I know this full moon is happening on Friday. Yeah, I know. Crazy time. Friday nights are, are already crazy times, and then we have a full moon. I know. That's okay. It's all right. Just ground yourselves and go with the flow. All right? I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.